Every day, people walked past a street dog, never realizing it was trying to send a message. Many people wouldn't give a second thought to a stray, assuming it's just another dog wandering the streets. But this dog was different. It wasn't just sitting there, it was waiting, watching, and guarding something important. In today's story, we'll uncover the heart-stopping truth behind this dog's strange behavior and why one person finally stopped to listen. What they discovered will leave you speechless. The Street Dogs of Turkey Before we take a look at this particular pooch, we need to zoom out and give you some background information. This story takes place in Turkey, a country that has a surprising love for street dogs. Turkey's relationship with our fuzzy friends goes all the way back to the beginning. Dog bones, as in their skeletons, not their snacks, were found in the remains of temples in Turkey that dated back to Neolithic times. It was a discovery that gave us some of the earliest evidence of domestic dogs existing in Europe. By the time of the Ottoman Empire, which ran from the 14th century to the early 20th, foreign ambassadors were writing home, describing how unusually fond the Turkish were of their stray dogs. Public water troughs were provided for them, vendors in the street sold meat scraps for people to feed them with, and religious foundations were set up to support them. The religion in question would have been Islam, the national religion of Turkey since 11th century, and the primary reason for the country's compassion for canines. Islam commands that people treat animals well, and this particular teaching has had a huge impact on Turkish culture. Even in the modern day, a law from 2004 states that street animals have a right to roam where they please, and there are an estimated 20,000 stray dogs in the capital city of Istanbul. That's Istanbul, not Constantinople. Alone. But there's a downside to how accepted they are. Although nobody tried to round up the main character of our story and take him off to the pound, people were so used to the presence of dogs in the street that few people noticed how strange his behavior was. The Dog by the Drain The dog in question was a male German shepherd who, unlike his pals, who spent their days roaming around begging for scraps and getting into scrapes, could mostly be found sitting in the street, staring into a storm drain. He would sit there for hours on end, leaving only to get food or to find a safe place to sleep for the night. The few people who had the time to stop and try to figure out what he was looking at soon found that this particular pup was super protective of his staring spot and would growl or snap at anyone who came too near. Eventually, all the local people became used to seeing this dog sitting in the street, staring at the drain, and soon they stopped noticing him altogether all except one woman who took the time to investigate and didn't give up when the dog tried to scare her away. The Curious Commuter A woman named Annie passed by the dog every day on her walk to work and became more and more curious about what he was looking at. He just seemed so intent. One day, as she rushed to work, she tossed the dog part of her breakfast sandwich. Feeding street dogs is normal in Turkey and she expected the dog to just scarf the snack down as fast as possible. But this pooch surprised her. Instead of just gobbling the food up, he bit off a part of it and then dropped the rest down the slats of the drain, while Annie watched in amazement. Unfortunately, before she could investigate further, she had to continue on her rush to work. But throughout the day, her mind kept turning back to the dog by the drain, and his curious decision to throw away free food a rare and precious commodity for any street dog, even an animal-loving turkey. She tried to put it out of her mind, but on her next day off, she found herself taking the familiar walk that she took every day on her work commute just to see the dog again. Gaining Trust At first, in her excitement, Annie made the mistake of going too close to the storm drain. At once, the dog, who had seemed friendly enough up to then, if a little distracted, began to growl, deep and low in his throat. Annie had never heard such a harsh sound come from any animal before and felt instinctively that if she had taken another few steps, she would have been bitten. So she backed off and, after a bit of thought, headed to the butcher's shop. Returning with some snacks, she positioned herself a few feet away from the dog and well away from the storm drain and threw him some pieces of meat. 
Once again, to Annie's increased fascination, he only took half for himself and dropped the rest down the storm drain. Annie sat and watched the dog for a bit longer, attracting some curious looks herself from passers-by before going back home and resolving to come back tomorrow. For the next few days, Annie returned to the drain every day, bringing more meat each time. Each time, she moved a bit closer to the dog and a bit closer to the drain, and each day the dog seemed a bit more comfortable with her presence. Soon, she was able to get him to come up to her and take the meat almost from her hand. Once or twice, he allowed her to reach out a hand and stroke his back or rub behind his ears. Her friends made fun of her for her obsession with this random street dog, pointing out that there were plenty of other dogs roaming the streets, and that there was no reason for her to spend this much of her time and money trying to befriend this one. Even if he was behaving a little strangely, there was nothing special about a street dog. The Shocking Reveal As Annie got closer and closer to the dog, she found herself trying to move herself closer to the drain as well. Unfortunately, she couldn't lean over far enough to see what was inside because the dog would start getting annoyed again. He wouldn't growl at her anymore, but he would stand in between her and the drain, shielding it with his body. And Annie knew not to push her luck. Eventually, however, she got close enough that, even though she couldn't see what was in the drain, she could hear it. A strange squeaking sound. At first faint enough that she wasn't sure whether it was just her imagination, or perhaps she was hearing the dog whining for more food. But then she would see him taking her food gifts and dropping them back down that drain, and would be more convinced that there was something important down there. As she moved closer and closer to the drain, the squeaking got clearer and clearer. The Rescue Annie brought her story to the local fire department, they had all seen the dog for themselves, of course, but had never been able to get close enough to hear any sounds that might be coming from the drain. They weren't really convinced by Annie's stories about squeaking, suggesting that it could have just been rats or mice living down there that were attracting the dog with their smell. But they agreed to take a look if Annie could find some way to remove the dog from the area. Annie agreed. The next day, she brought some extra food to the drain. Although the pooch was initially reluctant to leave his sentry post, the temptation of some delicious beef sausages was enough to lure him down an alleyway long enough for the two firefighters lying in wait to quickly pry up the drain. When they saw what was underneath, they couldn't believe their eyes. The Reveal The dog had been protecting a litter of kittens. The babies had somehow fallen down the slats in the drain and become trapped. The pup had been unable to get them out himself, but had sat sentry every day, protecting them the best way he could, and had done his best to keep them fed. The kittens were taken to a vet, who declared them a tad underweight, but otherwise healthy, and soon found new homes. As for the initial heroic dog who saved their lives, he was adopted by Annie, the woman who first took the time to find out what was troubling him. Sometimes it can be hard to figure out what animals are thinking, but it's always worth the effort of trying. Why not check out this video to find out what your dog, surprisingly, is actually thinking when they hear you call them your pet?